My friends, in this vlog, you're gonna get to see some raw footage that was shot from my documentary, Profiling Makati's Burgo Street, which is playing exclusively on Patreon. We'll also see Kevin's reaction to the video after seeing it for the first time. And you'll get to see me take some much needed leisure time in the Philippines, which is not something that I always get a chance to do. I'll visit my good friend, Lance Raimundo, and I'll also get to meet up with one of my patrons and we'll talk to them. So, let's roll it. How much? Five hundred is one. Do you give them? Yes. You give them massages? Yes. Okay. Five hundred for yes. a massage. Where are you located? There. So if you want, I I also give room service. How much for room service? Yeah. Also one hour is five hundred. How much? What's your name? Sam. By the way, my name is Sam. Sam. Nice to meet you. Okay, maybe I'll call and you home We're gonna show Kevin the Burgo Street video because even though the patrons have seen it, Kevin, even though he's in the video, still hasn't seen it. So let's get his reaction. <laughs> I'm glad that your videos are educating people out there, You're getting the message across to every single person about the holistic view of the Philippines. I've never seen you touch subject on something like this. But now that you have, it's, you know, it opens eyes to many. Video was really good, actually. Like, the editing was really nice. And I didn't think that the footage that we got would actually pan out like that. But we have Travlito Craftarelli behind the scenes working the production. So <laughs> it came out good. That's what happens when you get me making the video. I take the ordinary and I make it extraordinary. But in all seriousness, I know what I'm doing when I'm making these videos. So when I'm shooting... I know what I'm getting and I'm thinking about how I'm going to edit and it all comes together in the end. Although the Burgos video, since we were doing secret recording, I couldn't look at the LCD screen to compose shots and like I, I couldn't see what kind of footage I was getting while we were shooting it. But thankfully, I had a lot of usable footage. It was hard work going to all those, those places, but I guess someone's got to do it. Someone has to go to the places of ill repute just to bring you guys groundbreaking documentaries. There he is. What's up? What's up? What's up? I'm good. A lot of people say, Travis, you only show bad places in the Philippines. You don't show the nice places, and there's lots of nice places in the Philippines. And there are. Here I'm in a nice place, but. I don't put my entire life on video. Some things I like to keep to myself, like this, and I like to just enjoy myself. It's not that I do nice things every day, but once in a while I get out, I just like to show different cultural things in my videos and keep entertaining you guys. We're going to see The Expendables 3, and I rarely go to movies, even though I'm a film lover, and even that's what my degree is in, film. I just don't want to spend the money. But one nice thing about the Philippines is, movies here, they're pretty affordable. Even the snacks. I'm pretty much done going to movies in the United States. I just can't justify how much it costs there. So at least that's one thing that you get a break on in the Philippines, the price of movies. This is the Promenade Mall Theater. It's a very nice theater, but most theaters in Metro Manila are going to be nice theaters. Do I have tickets? Ang paglabag sa anti-camcording law ay may multang 50,000 pesos sa 700. Ang mga magre-report ng mga nagsasagawa ng camcording ay tatanggap ng reward na 5,000 pesos. What did you think of the movie, Imabel? I love it. <laughs> I didn't have high expectations going in. I heard it was bad, but I was pleasantly surprised. I think that might be the best Expendables film yet. I hope they make a part four, personally. What'd you think of the movie? It was fun, and it's awesome to be watching with you guys again, because every time there's an Expendables, Travis happens to be in Manila. <laughs> so I'm sure there's gonna be a part four with him still here in town. <laughs> I've seen every Expendables movie so far in the theater with this guy. Look at these two good-looking people. You guys make a good-looking couple. I think you guys should date. <laughs> See you again sooner, right? All right, we'll Hang see ya. Soon. We'll talk to you later. Thanks, guys. Bye. 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 See you, bye. 
Lance Raimundo, ladies and gentlemen. Are you buy flower for eating We're on the way to meet one of my patrons, which is going to be a lot of fun. It's nice to go out to dinner, meet someone like-minded, meet one of my core supporters. This is going to be fun. So America. good to meet you. Nice Hello. meeting you, Isabel. finally. Hi, I'm Travis. Hi, Annie. This is a crazy view. Yeah, it is. They, we're going to rotate past the sunset. The, oh. the restaurant literally rotates. Mm -hmm. For how long? Oh, wow. I'm kind of get more sure. sense of the right. Like, if you look there. Oh, there we are. Yeah. Cool. I want to accommodate time. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, well, I think it goes all night. So we're literally spinning around here. No, 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 let's play the block. There's a condo lane. The revolving restaurant. Very nice place. Ostrich steak. I guess this is your official Patreon Pasta Luban. <laughs> well, thank you very much. My pleasure. He comes bringing gifts. Let's take a look. I'm gonna ruin the wrapping. I'm like a, a kid on Christmas. Yeah. It's, it's a very nice wrapping too. Because we have it professionally done. I can't take credit for the wrapping. <laughs> and look at what we got here. Just what I needed. This is something that's not gonna just benefit me, it's gonna benefit all of you guys because it's a new microphone. I can get back to shooting my documentaries that have been kind of held up. I can go back to shooting my man on the street interviews. And this is gonna do, this is gonna be good because we can get good audio now. So thank you very much. My pleasure. I was looking for Filipino themed videos, um, mostly for specific sort of insight into uh, some areas that I'd hope to visit in the Philippines mm -hmm. and I just knew that I could probably find a couple of good pointers um, and when I found Travis's channel uh, I knew I was sort of in the right place. I was actually looking for destinations but uh, I found a, a lot more so. Great to hear that. So what can you say about Travis's videos? I could say a lot. Um, for me, the Filipino theme videos were very informative and helpful, especially from someone that's familiar with, uh, you know, the Philippines and traveling in this area. But uh, the thing that I find is most special about them is that uh, Travis is very genuine, uh, and he shares a lot about himself. Um, and I see that he does lots of different types of things, things that I've felt like I've wanted to do but have been afraid to sort of venture and, and actually go through with doing um, and as a result uh, it's been inspirational and uh, I've had I've, I've sort of expanded my boundaries as a result and uh, I enjoy my time in the Philippines a lot. Nice to hear that. What is so special about Travis Crafts channel that sets it apart from the other channels? I don't know, I mean, Travis strikes me as a, a stand-up American kind of guy. But uh, I think what really sets him apart, besides the fact that it's, it's genuine, um, I think it's a level of uh, artistry maybe, like uh, what it is behind, what it means to be behind the camera. The, the videos are more appealing to me. Um, I don't just feel like I'm watching someone talking. Uh, and I usually, I don't know what it is, I get a good laugh. 
So the last one I remembered, I don't, I don't remember what video it was. All I remember was microphone and Travis's hand, and he kind of points it at the guy, and he's like, Baklakaba? <laughs> and I probably laughed for 10 minutes. Baklakaba? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's okay. Right there, right there. Eric, I'm glad that you could come and visit. I'm glad we got to meet up. I'm really thankful to have you as a patron. And it's almost like we're family because my patrons on Patreon, they're like a part of my family. It's like a brotherhood or a special community, even more than what the regular YouTube community is. And I appreciate how you're helping me make these videos come to life for everyone, whether they're a patron or not. And I appreciate the mic that you brought, and I know that the audience on YouTube is really going to appreciate that microphone and helping me bring better quality videos and good audio to people, so thank you so much, Eric. My pleasure. Thank you.